Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's uh, Curtis Edmund with Enter the Body. Um, God, what can we talk about today? So I just got back from the gym. Um, I did a leg workout day. So after that, I did the sauna. Uh, for about 15 minutes while listening to binaural beats meditation I go to um, I go on YouTube and just look up 15 minute binaural beats meditation B-I-N-A-U-R-A-L binaural um, yeah I do that for two reasons one oh man this guy's an idiot one, it helps me time out 15 minutes. Two, it's a great way to meditate. And sometimes people come into the sauna room so you don't have it to yourself. And, you know, when you get, like, older people in there, they like to talk a lot. So you can't really, like, you know, full-on meditate. Um, just because people are talking so much, so... If you um, put on the headphones and put on the binaural beats meditation, then you don't have to listen to all that shit. And it helps out a lot when you don't have to hear all that shit. Because usually, you know, the, the basic conversation is like, oh, this motherfucker at work. Did you know she's pregnant? Did you know so-and-so got fired? Did you know someone just bought a house? <clears throat> a lot of gossiping. A lot of um, useless gossip that, you know, you really don't want to hear. But it can be um, addictive if you uh, hear it. You know, everybody likes drama. So that's how I stay out of that. Uh, binaural beats meditation. Put my big ass headphones on. So they're like earmuffs. So I don't, I don't have to hear anything, right? And I do that after, after my workout, um, before my workout. <sighs> Except for on leg day, I'll run like a mile. So like three, four days out of the, the week, I'll do weights. Um, before I do weights, I'll do um, like a 12 minute mile. I'll set the speed to like 4.55 and do a 12 minute mile. And then um, after that, then I'll do the weights and then I'll sit in the sauna for about 15 minutes. Um, damn, that just made it even worse. Then I'll sit in the sauna for about 15 minutes and then that's that. And then one day out of the week, I'll just do yoga uh, like a 30 minute stretching yoga just uh, cause my body gets real tight like after 4 days straight of working out and running all that good stuff um and then you know I'll do like another 2 days of just running or just jogging or walking or any any kind of cardio to just keep the blood flowing and, and stuff like that. So that's pretty much like my workout routine. My diet is crazy bad. I'm not even going to lie. Um, there's times where I do really good on my diet. Where I'll like, you know, make vegetables for the week. And uh, do all this other stuff. And try to get it to... Um, try to get a good routine diet going this camera's probably going to be shaking because i'm driving anytime i hit a bump it just doo -doo, drops um but yeah to be honest you know at work if i forget to pack something i'll eat a whopper you know i'll eat a whopper with cheese and some french fries with some ketchup um but yeah, that's when I usually, like, on my two days of cardio, I usually try to burn, like, 600 calories in a workout. 
not a workout, but just like, you know, walking incline, I've noticed like you can burn a lot of calories walking incline on the treadmill. So I like to do that. That's been my favorite thing lately is just walking incline on the treadmill. Um, that and meditation, those have been my, my two favorite things. Um, yeah, as far as like music, I listen to rap while I'm working out. I try not to, because I try to be careful of what I put in my brain. So I do have the Audible app, so I do get like audio books, but sometimes when you're like running and stuff, that, that shit can be like pretty, pretty boring and make time go by pretty slow. So I like to have like some fast up-tempo beats that's just knocking in my eardrums, just like exploding my brain, just making me dumb as fuck. But good news is, is I'm burning some calories while I'm getting stupid with it <clears throat> but yeah so that's that's my uh, workout routine that's kind of my mindset for the gym I'll just go I'll just go over mindset in the gym my mindset for getting into the gym is just wake up and go man like eat it's to the point now where like people are like I can't I can't stay motivated I can't stay motivated Motivation is just fighting. Like, it, it, there's no such thing as motivation. Like, you, you just got to fight yourself. Like, you just got to say, okay, whatever you say don't do, I'm going to do. Like, uh, I don't feel like going. Nope, I'm going. So, it's really just like, motivation is just simply fighting the feeling of not wanting to go. Um and motivation so fighting the feeling of not wanting to go that's that's the first step motivation if you really want to think of motivation as something uh this is motivation when you continuously fight to do the things you know you should be doing but don't feel like it and doing it anyways so the motivation comes in with uh practice habit um just continuing to to do that over and over and over again until eventually when that when that idea comes in your head like oh I don't feel like it you just know like that's just a fucking idea like you don't even listen to that voice in your head anymore it's just a fucking voice that you ignore um so that's when like that's like the motivation part right there is when you've just done it when you've just avoided that fucking noise in your head so many times that when it comes up you're just able to fucking zone out and just say fuck it I'm going and that that's been my mindset is just go like even if you don't feel like going even like you're like fuck I'm not gonna be able to lift anything I don't know I don't even know like what I'm gonna be able to do I can't do anything like you have all these thoughts in your head just go like don't plan on uh, lifting the most you've ever lifted. Don't plan on doing the most uh, excruciating workout you've ever done. Don't don't plan on doing any of that. Just go there. Just go to the gym. And if all you can do that day is walk on the treadmill at a slow pace for 15 minutes, give yourself a pat on the back because you went. Like that's the whole thing. Is once you once you get there, what you think you can't do, you actually can. Like, it's just, it's just your brain telling you, like, oh, you can't, you can't do a, a full workout right now because you're too tired. But once you get in there, you're like, you, you walk on that treadmill for 15 minutes, you're like, all right, it would be a fucking waste of time for me to just come in here and walk for 15 minutes. I'm gonna go uh, do at least an ab workout on the ab machine. I'm at least gonna go, um you know, hit a, hit a couple sets on the bench press. I'm at, I'm at least going to do like a little, uh, body workout with some, with some push-ups and some sit-ups. Uh, but once you get in there, once you get in there, you'll be able to do amazing things that you wouldn't have thought you could have done half an hour earlier when you were just waking up. It's funny how it works, but get in there and you know, you might be thinking too, like, Oh, I got a whole work day you'll 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 make it through like the energy will be there trust me i've done it plenty of times almost every day <laughs>
uh, going to the gym and then working 11 hour days. So yeah, and it's standing. I'm standing and walking all day. So yeah, you'll have the energy. So that's just my word. I'm gonna try to do this more often, driving home from the gym, just turn on the camera and try to touch base with you guys. Hope you guys have a lovely day. Like, subscribe, comment, share the video, and have a great day.